two, one. one. Right six and left five plus crown. Right six and left five plus? Yep. Into right five plus, kinks 250. Shit, dude. Ah! Ah! Water car stall. We're done. Gnarly runway onto a little ramp floating 100 feet out that you're going to have to hide your plane to. We're going to be hitting it at 70 miles an hour. Who knows what the bikes can do because the tires can be spinning so much faster than the rest of the bike. And how did I get volunteered for this? It's not really the water that I'm worried about. It's hitting that ramp. got to do it better than everyone else. <laughs> Thanks for going first, Jim. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for not making it, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> Swimmer. What, the, what was that? No turn! Did he completely panic? Does that look like Baywatch to you? Yeah, Hasselhoff! Where's Bell?
there's something seriously wrong with downhill mountain bike guys. Safety first. First event of the day, road man on mini bikes. Looks like Andy Bill grabs the whole shot. Look for the Tara Geiger. She's a girl. Travis runs her over. Good job, Travis. Great manners. Kid. With me today, calling the play by play action, Randy Richardson and Willie Drum. Ankle check. They still work. He's happy. He's back in the race. I want to make sure I got some height. Yeah, Vickers, way to get off that bike before anything bad happened. Oh, gut check, gut oh, check. It's definitely still there. Oh, they're back. They've mirrored over jumping it. Looks like he's maybe getting past here. Yes, passed by Brian Vickers for the lead. Woo! Fill it up again. Wonder who won this competition? Ah, oh, it doesn't really matter. Me either. Let's get to the next one. Gosh! Coming in hot, Tara Geiger, your new X Games gold medalist. Downhill big wheel racing. Men's coming in hot. Men's coming in To the wall, hot. take him to the wall. Bell out front smiling like the happy dumb Canadian he is. Men's no rain, nor sleep, nor hell. He's excited. We'll stop him from delivering the mail. He's coming. Oh, he's taking, he went right to the mailbox. Mirror coming in for the final pass, taking it all the way home. Looks like he's going really fast from that angle. Results from the downhill big wheel, Travis lost. Not really my gig, but you know what? Anytime you can get on the same track with five-year competitors, I'm all about it. I'm going to take them out. Shake hey, and bake, baby. Shake and bake. And they're off. Mini NASCAR at its finest. A little bumping already, which is what you have in NASCAR. That's what it's going to take to put these competitors down. Fatigue, all those laps have worn them out. And they're off the track. Tom Mintz into the trees. You know what he meant to do that? He meant to do that, and that was the quickest race I've ever seen. Pit bikes, not so much. Big wheel, our first experience today. 
The foil dries, jumping them. That's every day's business. Right there. You got it. Although Tom Mintz was confident, Team Canada came to play. These cars are pushing 100 horsepower. Amazing jump, those guys. Yes, they clear it. Look at that. Nope. Not that time. That is a Canadian rollover. Because he's Canadian, and he rolled over. Let's go on board with the handy cam. Canadian sausage roll. Light miscalculation, but back in the race. I'm Cam. I think you might be fired from driving. <laughs> Look at him hitting that guy. That is rally rage if I have ever seen it. like he's got out the rally mace. Watch out for that spray can. Clearing the track like he always does. Team NASCAR is going to clear this big double. Clearly not clearing the jump. Clearly. Oh, there's no jump this time. Cam McQueen's going to just jump over him to show him how you're supposed to do is that. Is that a cam cam? Yeah. That was a cam cam. Oh, yeah, we got him. We got him. Go, 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 go. Yes, yes, yes. Woo! 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 Oh, Canada, baby. Yeah. Coming out on top in more ways than one. I think Canada came out on top in that race. Team Canada. Can't really feel my extremities right now. Is that bad? Final standings, and the loser is Team Monster Jam. I think Monster Truck's a lot better. This is ridiculous. Back hurts from power wheels. Head hurts from Travis. It's ridiculous. Why is a fire truck here? Somebody hurt already? Finished. Got it. I'm gonna go to sleep. Six months ago in Las Vegas, Adam Anderson wins the world finals. There's one redneck that knows how to go big. Ever since Cam was a little kid, he's wanted to be a monster truck driver. Travis finally gave him that chance. He got to drive Travis's truck in the world finals. He didn't even wreck the truck. Strange. Let's open that thing up and get it going. I'm, I'm ready to poop my pants. I think I might have already. Yeah, ready, go. Squeeze them, buddy. Squeeze them. Squeeze them. Hey, boss, squeeze them. He's sleeping, isn't he? Hey, okay. Get a link. You okay? Get a link. 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 Get I, Jolene Van Butte, take full responsibility for what I'm supposed to do. I know the consequences. Of it. One. Good dive, good go. dive, good dive. You got this. Oh, that was terrible.
Crest 30, left 5 here. Crest 30, left 5 here. Finish it. Left 5, blood. Short into right 3, blood. 3. Oh, no! Jim's really not funny I at all. I can't help though. He's funny looking. He's, yeah, he's funny looking. So I think that's really going to help us. Funny looking. Too funny looking. Is this sounding like it's sounding? Well, we get a soft wall on this side, but we get a hard one on that side. I think we bent something. Six over John, stay left. One hundred, right six over small John, stay in. Fifty. Four plus over press. Hey! Ah! 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 Let me get out and stop this thing. Ken Block, awesome season, but even though you were faster than me, I just have to say, if you're not first, you're last. <laughs> All right, Dad, good luck. Nice gainer, reach, throw. I think we're gonna do a little Colorado in later today. You wanna pick out a nice pine tree and you climb it up as high as you can until it breaks, then you fall off with it. It's a win-win situation because you don't really ever win. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Help! Help! That's a great Colorado there, bud. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go with the overall score. Dismount, height climbed, and remaining stick. <laughs> Ooh, those last ranks might hurt. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> hey, got gold medal. So, um, I gotta represent Colorado. Colorado in your guys' national sport.
And you know I'm not going to let you. I can't drive that car with that guy. I'm a bad co-driver. In the spirit of Bonneville, we are going to set some land speed records on trash cans. We're going to set some land speed records on big wheels. World land speed record on a sled. Not a bobsled, not a snowmobile, a $3 Walmart plastic sled. It's deceiving because it looks like snow. Think sandpaper. We do. They cause some trouble. Seems like all we ever knew. My butt got really hot. I had to jump off the first time. No, I'd rather try and fail than just, just never, never try at all. You know, that's my motto in life. I, I, I fail quite often. Almost 70. 70 in a trash can, that's pretty good. Tastes like salt. <laughs> from the hip of the car. Ken didn't see where he was. Glasses flying one way, pride flying the other. Greg, <laughs> you got run over. Did I get run over? Yeah. Well, not really run over. You bounced off the rear wheel. Yeah, well, at least they rode together. Yeah, I'm gonna try. He told Travis that he doesn't have to do it. You got it. Oh, my God! I can't see anything. Is that bad? Oh, Just lay on your back. No, I can't see. Oh, seriously, I can't see. Just seriously lay on Just your back. Just lay there then. No, no, I'm good. No, you can't. Yeah, you're good. concussed. Oh my gosh. Back pop. Lay down. I didn't make it. Lay down. The first main event of the 2008 AMA Supercross World Championship.
Gather around, my amigos. You are about to hear a story of two local gringos who have come to Mexico to get a little taste of the glory, to taste the champagne. The Takati score Baja 1000. Rocks, sand, dirt, cactus, and silt. Ensenada to Cabo in a race against the clock. Can it be done alone? Travis Pastrana and filmmaker Greg Godfrey sign up for the Iron Man test. easily be killed in this thing. Easily be killed. All right, I never really need some food. All I've had is Snickers all day. You guys get any real food this time? Everything's no closed. Nothing's open. I'm sorry, Dude. man. <laughs> I'm serious, man. I'm not going to make it on cookies and tacos. See, it is true. These gringos have some grande huevos. But the desert, you watch, is going to spit them out like a bad camaron. Yes, I got I'm just getting an extra kick to get me there. I just rode 26 hours straight only to go handlebar deep in some silt and have my bike cut out about two hours from the finish. I know two hours sounds like a long time, but after you run 26 straight, two hours is right there. Out of the 20 iron riders that started in Ensenada, none of them had reached the checkered flag by nightfall. At the 40th hour of the race, that all changed. Greg rode into the finish, becoming the first solo rider to complete the 1,300 mile course in 40 hours, 4 minutes, and 12 seconds. Oh my god. You are the iron rider, <laughs> let me tell you. Ten. Congratulations, the first Ironman rider. Amigos, as the story goes, the jackrabbit is always a speedy little rabbit. But sometimes, the puffy-faced tortuga wins the race. Vaya con Dios. You had it perfect, dude. Deep breath. No, no, no. You're good. Good. Stay here. Look, Jim, Jim. Just breathe. Breathe. There you go. Good. Good. There you go. Breathe. 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 You're good. 
Oh man, that's that sucks. The amigo jump jump a helicopter. Red Rover, Red Rover, we're calling you over. That was Travis who landed in the water? Yeah. We thought that was somebody with no style. No. I'm tired of the silly stuff. What is it fun riding with Travis? You're good, you're good, go! go, 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 go. It was fun, really fun. He heard me. <laughs> it just looks like not fun. <laughs> it's awesome sliding down and getting like rashes on your back. Oh, yeah, yeah. I cannot see! Oh. Is that good? We're doing a buddy race. You got Kenny and Ronnie that are the odds on favorite because they can actually ride. Then you have Plammer and Jim and the Rhino, and then you've got Jolene and Jeremy. Jeremy can't ride, and Jolene can barely paddle with Jeremy on the back. And then Andy and I, who we're, we're imploring total and complete girl to work there. We're kicking, we're punching. I'm even gonna fight. Ah! Yeah. bad idea. It's almost dark. There's about 400 crocodiles between like, I don't know, 15 and 30 feet long down there. And we have a bunch of chickens that we bought at the store. And it seems just not like the best idea that Greg's ever had. <laughs> I'm ready. Ready? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Drive upon a little alligator in the woods. And Andy jumps on him. Get in there, get in there. Well, there was nothing really to do. It was either him or me. I mean, this was a fight for survival here in the jungles of Costa Rica. No thief to see life without trust, no greed, misleading of these without us. No thief to see life without trust, no greed, misleading of these without us. No thief to see life without trust, no greed, misleading of these without us. No thief to see life without trust, no greed, misleading of these without us. For over 27 years, the Coombs family's been putting on this race at Loretta Lynn's Ranch. Yeah, it's produced such superstars as Ricky Carmichael, James Stewart, and even Travis Pastrana. It's the breeding ground for tomorrow's superstars. These guys are vying for the factory rides, hoping they make it.
is always going to be a landmark year for us because it was the passing of Evil Knievel. Now this guy was the first true daredevil. Somebody I looked up to, somebody Travis looked up to, and so did a lot of other people. So strangely enough, we get a call from Matt Hoffman and Johnny Knoxville saying they're doing a tribute show to Evil. We loaded up our stuff, we were there. How about we go watch someone who can ride a motorcycle? Think less, play more. Think less, play more. Exactly what I wanted, and then I was like, huh, where am I going? Sometimes my rhymes are far out, and you might as well be shouting. I'm totally done watching Palammer just wad himself up on this uh, step up trying to do a backflip, so I'm just gonna go show him what's up. <laughs> Hey, you see the record is pretty soft up here. So I personally come to understand the durability of Johnny Knoxville and appreciate it. The guy doesn't even know how to ride. We told him just hit the ramp and pin it. He looked at me and goes, "You keep saying pin it. What does that mean?" He broke something special on this trip, so it's gonna always be memorable to him. So everybody thinks this is a little kid on that bike with Travis. It's a little person. Is that proper? So he set a world record first little person to backflip tandem. Uh, WRC is survival. You can't call it back to service. I can go. No. No, but I know I can. But if you allow me. You would be 
And I think that's why Colin is really just that little bit more special than most. rocket into orbit. Are you scared? Yeah, I'm scared. I'm not American. I'm Scandinavian, but... Dude, I'm a Viking. I got this. Winter games, baby! You know, we pretty much suck in the snow, so we brought over our little Nordic jackhammer friend, Mod, to show us how it's done. He had these little Viking tracks that kept the crew entertained like a monkey with a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> with 3,000 acres of the Brighton Ski Resort at our disposal, we were living the dream. Oh, it's on now. Ojo banner race, we're all on identically prepared banners right now. <laughs> really only counts when you stick it. That was a good face plant. <laughs> These are the rules. We're just going down to that quarter pipe down there and you have to hit the quarter pipe. And whoever goes the biggest off the quarter pipe wins. Didn't we order the large Viking? There you go. You ready, Johnny? Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go.
Big two inches. Oh, you know it. Open chairs, open chairs, open chairs. You know, like most families would do, had a barbecue, brought the host boat, and put in a 600 foot zip line. Just cuz, it's what we do. I tell everyone I'm scared of heights and no one believes me and just it bounces a little a couple times the second bounce hands just peeled off and landed in three feet of water from 80 feet up and laughed about it and walked away <laughs> Oh. 
Not too hard, and I'll take it, all right? All right, and now. It really only counts when you take it and stick it. it really only counts when you stick it. You see that, the top of the stadium up there? Like, way, way up there? Yeah, that, that's the mega ramp. As it turns out, Godfrey brought big wheels. Godfrey's a <laughs> The plan is Andy Bell and I are going to do backflips at 75 feet over the mega ramp and probably get thrown in jail. I'm gonna land it, he's not, then I will officially have the big wheel record, the biggest flip, day before a competition. <sighs> Every time I thought I had it, but I didn't. I don't know, I'm used to playing with hand grenades and horseshoes, and uh, losing this was just bull today. Clamor, I tell you. I hate when people are better than me. Again, I think we make it. Yeah. All right. That was close. That bottom, we just beat out so hard on the bottom, dude. For two fat kids, that Woo. wasn't too bad. <laughs> Com combined weight of 380 pounds. Woo. All right, let's try close. Trap, what the heck is Jim trying to do today? Reno Yim. <laughs> He's trying to front flip. Unfortunately, he doesn't really know how to ride a motorcycle that well. Um, he rides a good twice a year. Everyone's like, well, is he gonna hit the jump? I'm like, no, that would be definite disaster. Carnage, cartwheeling. He's just gonna do a front flip. It's way easier for him. Um, right now we have the jump set up five feet further than he's ever been able to jump to land it into the foam pit. However, it can't go any less, or they said they're just not gonna count it because, I, I don't know, they're just not gonna count it. So, bottom line, as he's coming down to roll in, that's probably as steep as anything he's ridden on a motorcycle on. He's got to get to speed in about half the distance that he's ever gotten to speed on. And he's going to have to hit his front brake and do a frontwards flip over that there jump. <laughs> and with any luck, he'll be able to hold on tight enough to ride out of it. It's kind of like that, uh, that guy last year, Murray, Murray something. <laughs> You know, came kind of out of the backwoods and just, bam, he even had yellow gloves. I mean, can I have a prop? <laughs> <laughs> I give you a prop. They look like this. I don't know who the guy is talking about, but they look like this. No idea, but, you know, almost as, as like, crazy as the, wearing these yellow gloves at the X Games. I mean, <laughs> way out there. <laughs> I don't know who he's talking about. The guy, I saw the guy last year. I, I don't know what he was thinking. Kind of... I think he's not all there. He's not playing with full deck. I like that guy. He's funny. Oh. How's your knee? Takeoff ramp there. We went off about halfway up and cartwheeled end over end. That was bad news. <laughs>